Have you ever looked at your form and wondered how you can control the amount of applications being downloaded on them? It's usually pretty easy, though the point at which you give away your password to another person to access your phone, it's game over. What happens then is that your phone will be accessible to any downloads, no matter what size or use the application is for. So today I'm going to show you how you can manage the amount of downloads or even manage access to your Play Store because this is where all the downloads can be accessed from. Hi, my name is Gabriella and welcome to my Thirties. If your phone looks way more populated with applications than mine does, mine is has quite a few applications but if yours has too many applications and you're wondering where they came from and how they go there or rather you know who downloaded them and installed them on your phone then there's a very simple way in which you can control what gets downloaded on your phone from here on what I have here is a normal Samsung phone and how you can manage the applications being downloaded on your phone is through the Play Store because for an Android phone, the Play Store is where most people go to search for different or varied applications and that's where they go and download it. And once you give someone your phone password, then they can access your Play Store as well. And once they can access your Play Store, that means that they can access any applications that they wish to download. So from here on, you want to go to your Play Store. On your Play Store, go to search and just type in Play Store Lock App Download and, and there are various applications you can use to password protect your App Store or any other application on your phone that you don't want any person to access, be it your child or your sibling, you never know. I want and I prefer is this one. So I'll click on the App Lock. If you scroll down it, it also has some similar applications as such. So it's really up to you to test and try what works for you and what works for your phone. So let's click on install. Accept. Let's wait for it to install. So I like this application because it comes with a variety of features. So for instance, if you want to take a photo of the person who tried to unlock your app or tried various passwords and they didn't work, then this will do that. It also allows you to lock a number of applications, not all, so you can select from the number of applications that you have and select which applications you'd like locked and which ones you wouldn't like locked. So let's open this and see. To start with, you have to create a password. So with this one, I can input a different password. So let's see, let's just see, put a V. So let's repeat it for confirmation. Uh-huh. And let's click. Here you can input any email address that will be used to generate a code in the event that you forget a password, okay? Here, it gives you a list of the applications you have in your phone. So this is a list of all the applications on my phone. And what happens is you can now select which application you want locked. Because if you look closely, all these applications have locks on them on the right side and they're unlocked. If you want to lock them, you just go to, let's say now we'll go to Google Play Store and it's locked. But now the other feature that I like is the take a picture feature. With this, what it does, it takes a picture of whoever tried to unlock your application. Let's click on that. Go back. You can also lock any other application that's on your phone listed here. So that's that. And then let's go back to our home page. Let's close this first, exit to that. Let's try accessing our Play Store now. So this is our Play Store. See, loading. So yeah. So they need to put a password. So let's try the camera, see if the camera works. So let's try. So I'm really trying not to put the correct password. Okay, did you forget your password? No. 
because when you click yes it will generate a code to the email address that you provided so let's just go back so let's try that again go to the uplock application and at this point um, so let's I think that was the password yeah so if you can see closely it generated a photo of someone who tried to unlock and that's it so that's how you can password protect your place to from downloads and in the event that you need any other applications on your phone password protected this application provides a list of all the applications that are also within your phone so you can also lock them just click the lock icon next to the application you want locked and it locks hope you enjoyed this and hope you tried it and hope you won't be finding excess downloads or any other downloads from here on.